Hello everyone, it is I, Snickle Fritz, and today I am going to show you lovely people how to be able to get awesome little footage like this in most Unreal 4 Engine games. So, if this is something you're interested in, make sure to stay tuned, because you're about to learn. Now you may be wondering why, Fritz, why are you even making a video like this? Well, in my two years of trying to learn this whole YouTube thing and actually reach out to other YouTubers that are doing pretty cool stuff, I've always asked and not a single one has ever answered me. And I wasn't really ever really mad about it. I can understand why if another person, another YouTuber is coming out and they're asking you, a big time YouTuber, what you're using to get those views, to get those people to like your videos, to get those people to subscribe because you are one of the very few people that can do this. Of course, they're not going to tell. But there are people who aren't doing YouTube that do want to see what the developers have to come, especially with Grounded. You can kind of see that any updates with a certain code that you can use when you type in the console commands. But if you go and ground it and you hit that typical button that gets you into console commands, it doesn't work. So in order for that to actually kick in, you have to download a certain program that will work with most of the Unreal Engine games. And I am going to show you guys how to do this because I know how it is to ask somebody a question just to sit there in vain and get nothing. So... What you're going to do is pick whatever your favorite search engine is, get on the interwebs, go there, and then what you're going to want to sit there and search for is the Unreal Engine 4 Unlocker. Okay. Once it gets there, kind of scroll down. The page that I went to was this one right here. And if you look right up at the top of the search bar right there, I'll keep it. I'll probably even maybe put it in the uh, description below, of course, the links that I use so you can find everything quickly yourself. But once you get here, you're going to see this little link here. You'll click it, you'll do the download, and you should get an actual zip file that looks just like this. After this is done and over with, and it's not a huge file, you're going to want to up, oh, not up, you're going to want to unzip it into an actual empty folder. I put one on my desktop and I named it after the program it was. And then you should get this. Once you get that all that downloaded, you don't want to touch that program ramp. You want to go load the game up, actually get it to its main menu, which will be here. And then you're going to want to back out. Open the program. And hit select. Find the program. Make sure it's highlighted, the one you want to use. Select it. And it should load it up in this little bar here. Then tell it to inject the DLL. I wouldn't mess with a bottle one whatsoever and it will do everything it needs to do now typically where i've already had this run in it's not going to show it but right up here some menus will pop up showing you what it's loaded in the game and what you're going to be able to do with this program after that's done and over with you're going to just want to load your game now with the game it doesn't matter if it's a new or an already pre-existing game it will work and if everything went smoothly, you should be able to hit the insert button and you should be able to start control of that camera. Now, if you would like to be able to remove the HUD and a few other things, such, you know, uh, I can't do it, that's right. <laughs> in order to put console commands and you can't be in the camera, that's why it didn't work, but you want to hit the console command button if you've never done anything dealing with console commands you look at your keyboard i don't know how it is on the mac but pc regular pc you just look under the escape that button right next to the one to the left of the one you hit that and it'll bring this up and then you can toggle not the hug but the hud and that will take that off which is pretty pretty darn nice now there are a few other little uh i guess console commands that i wanted to show you 
and uh, we'll take a look at that. And I'll, like I said, I kind of highlighted some of the ones, but there is a list, and I will show you that little page as well on the actual full list of console commands so that you could take a look at yourself. Now, right here are some ones that I find pretty interesting, like the toggle HUD to help the pitchers. The teleport is pretty self-explanatory. Wherever your crosshairs is kind of pointing to, within reason, like it can't teleport you all across the map, uh, but it can teleport you to that area. Uh, kind of be careful. You might shoot yourself out of the map. I don't think it's going to mess you up too much. You might soft lock yourself out of the game but you can get usually get back in there some way some form so i would suggest if you are going to be messing around with it especially this one right here the open ar00 world devs it opens the de developer world where pretty much on certain videos where you see people actually in the koi pond with koi and uh, the spiders on the water the leeches that's what they used uh there's another uh, couple videos out there where you can see pretty much a white world and uh that one will be the survival test i'm pretty sure but those you can kind of see what the devs are doing especially this one right here so but just if you like to see the stuff type that in make a new character though so you don't soft lock yourself out of your current character's pro, uh, current character's progression uh, this one is pretty nice right here the uh, post process quality zero it does remove the depth of field blurriness from the map and uh, i can kind of show you what that looks like so you'll see what i mean now, currently, whenever you play the game, this is what it looks like. Now, of course, you can kind of make out the hedges. You can make out the fence. You can see there's a building there. Uh, in fact, you can see the bird. Let's just do this. Thank you, Crow. You are the man. Like, like oh, man, look at that. Uh, there's, a, there's a bird over there. W w what's going on? I wish I could see it from way over here. Well... Did I, did I, did I, did I spell that wrong or something? For serious. I done hug again. I done hug again. <laughs> so let's turn that off. And now if you were to type that one thing, it will make it clear. Just like this. Now, if you ever did want to put it back on, all you have to do is change that zero to a one. And it will put the actual fuzziness, blurriness back on there. So if you ever see anybody with their videos and looking wow that's super duper clear how do they do that that is how they do it they remove the blurriness now if you are interested in seeing some more console commands for this game you could easily search grounded console commands now i picked this one right here to kind of show you if you would like to see the same one and like it i will leave this little link right here or you can kind of take and write it down yourself whatever you feel like doing but there will be a link down below for it uh and it pretty much also will tell you about the locker but give you pretty much what i showed you plus as you can see here a ton ton more you can spawn bugs animals npcs characters items uh smoothies audio logs such as the stuff you hear window when he's talking you find out everywhere uh plants and other environment items such as like the hot dogs the apples and those cookies where they're not spawning in the world right now since the patch if you wanted to get those you could spawn those in then you have built items so it's like your scaffolds, furniture, anything you can build. Then you got bug parts, different bug parts from the actual critters. So you can get those yourself too. This is basically a cheater's heaven. <laughs> got projectiles, damage areas, watered areas, interactable, non-interactable floating food items, miscellaneous, raw science, uh, unreleased bugs, animals, and PCs. Now this is what you typically would see in those other worlds where you can spawn it in this right here same thing with the unreleased plants environments and unreleased items a lot of this stuff that you would see in this area if you were to do it is going to be the actual stuff that whenever we do get the koi pond update most likely would come with it but if you want to check it out beforehand mess around with it see what they have then that's when you would want to use uh this one right here opens develop worlds where a bunch of new things are available so that's what you would use to see all those cool 
koi armor, the koi fish, everything that's in that pond, if you would like to see it for yourself and experience it first hand. So, I really truly hope you guys enjoyed this little video so you guys can also sit back and enjoy and experience the cool little tools that most YouTubers use to bring you those sweet, sweet, nice videos that they work their asses off to make. Uh, with that being said, like I said, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Uh, if you did like it, make sure you to hit that like button. It would help out the channel a lot. And also subscribing will help, the, of course, the channel grow and put you into the community of Geekdom where you can sit there and also help me when I'm asking, you know, how would you like to see the channel progress? What direction would you like to see it to go? And what type of games you would like to see on it? Because as I tell everybody all the time, you guys, my subscribers, are the heart and soul of this channel. Without you guys, it really wouldn't be a channel. So your inputs, your thoughts, and your wishes are very, very important to me. So, so make sure you always leave little comments down below for me so I can see what you're wanting and possibly expecting from the channel. Other than that, thank you so, 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 so much. I can't express that. I am Snooker Fritz, and as always, you guys, stay classy.